I'm very grateful that Singaporeans have complied with the spirit and not just the letter of the rules. We stayed united, kept up our guard, and did not allow ourselves to become complacent over time. With everyone's full support, our enhanced safeguards worked, and we could gradually ease our restrictions. And we can be proud of how far we have come. Because of your efforts, we are now ready to progress to the next phase. Phase 3 will begin in two weeks' time, on the 28th of December. So we will end the year with some good news. The Ministerial Task Force will explain the details immediately after my broadcast. We will ease capacity limits in public places like malls and attractions and at places of worship. One significant change is to allow groups of up to eight to congregate, up from the current maximum of five. So eight people can dine out together or visit someone's home. This will make it easier to hold family get-togethers during the festive period. Please understand that even as we enter phase three, the battle is far from won. The COVID-19 virus has not been eradicated. There's a long way to go. Around the world, the pandemic is still raging. Many countries are seeing second, third, or even fourth waves of infection with record numbers of daily cases. International borders remain largely closed. But trade and travel are our lifeblood and the longer our own borders stay closed to travellers, the greater the risk of us permanently losing out as an international hub and consequently hurting our livelihoods. Therefore, our only option is to reopen our borders in a controlled and safe manner. As we do so, we will see more imported cases and there will be some risk of these imported cases spreading to the community. We've already had a few cases recently. An airport staff who likely came into contact with infected passengers. A marine worker who picked up the virus after boarding ships to do repair and resupply work. This is a calculated risk we have to accept. But the government will take every precaution and do our best to prevent imported cases from triggering a new outbreak. At the same time, Singaporeans must keep our guard up because the virus is most likely still circulating silently within our community. Each of us needs to play our part. By all means, make use of the higher limits and reconnect with friends and family. Please do not abandon your mindset of watchfulness and caution. This is absolutely not the time to relax and let our guard down, or to hold a big party imagining that the problem has disappeared. Progressing from phase two to phase three is a calibrated, careful move. We are easing the restrictions in a controlled way so that we can keep the COVID-19 situation stable and take more steps forward later. So it is vital that you stay cautious and vigilant, continue to cooperate with the government and comply with the rules and restrictions that will apply in phase three. <laughs> 